next the solution where the computer actually um, actually takes the information in the setup applies it uh, to our mesh all of those hundreds or thousands of control volumes which as we saw in class creates a huge set of simultaneous equations uh, meaning we've got some large uh, matrices that we have to invert and our computer science friends have taken care of this with a nice solver program we can double click to activate that here we are um, we can keep the uh, default initialization option uh, we don't particularly need double precision everything else uh, should be fine so you can click start run any minute now this should uh, start the solver program and begin the solution process here we go uh, first you see the script file that contains all of the switches and triggers and information you put in in CFX pre uh, next it is very quickly starting the iteration process uh, you see it is iterating towards a steady state solution as best it can and uh, in this situation we see that it's not quite able to get to the convergence that we were looking for I can tell as well if I scroll up the maximum iteration count was a thousand meaning it uh, cut out at that point okay that's probably an issue with the coarse mesh I've chosen so that's something to consider uh, if I were wanting to go back and uh, check this out further, I'd probably refine my mesh and see if I could get a, a tighter convergence with that. Uh, you've got a lot of information here uh, at the end. You can look at heat transfer through the boundaries. The only ones that weren't, um, that weren't insulated were my left and right boundaries. So you can see they should match up at steady state and the imbalance is about 0.02 percent so that is pretty good and the solution took about uh, 37 38 seconds so I can close from there and uh, next I can double click on my results to post process them